Hello everyone and welcome to a new series I think I'm going to start. So this is a new series that I thought I'd start called Let's Talk and I'm going to talk about anything, everything, that kind of stuff. And I thought we would start with Eric LaRocca and his works. I was brought to the attention of Eric LaRocca's works by Nikki over at Dark Between Pages and we buddy read his debut novel Starving Ghosts in Every Thread in October, no, November of last year and loved it. Just loved it. This was his debut novel. And his next book, or it's Two uh, Macabre Tales, and it's called A Bright Enchanting Suffering. And this I read in January, I believe, with a whole bunch of booktubers, where Nikki has done a live stream with uh, quite a number of us and Eric for a discussion of his books. And this one here is coming out in um, the end of March of this year. Also, one other book that we're going to be discussing today is Fanged Dandelion, and this is a book of poems. I know I'm not really a person that reads a lot of poetry, but hey. Let's start with Starving Ghosts in Every Thread. This is a book about Teddy and she has some regrets that she's done in her life and things have happened to her and she lives in this small town and she's trying to deal with everything that's going on. Her mother um, isn't feeling very well and they've got this neighbor that um, has um, exotic animals and it's the only way that she's going to be able to help her mother get over um, her illness. This from the get-go, right from the get-go, when we're in the grocery store where Teddy works and there's a, a child there that's um, gone away from his parent and things start to happen, right from there you have a sense of what is going on and you have a sense of what Teddy is about. It just grips you in you can see it, you can picture it in your mind. It is vivid, it's scary, it's making you think. And both of us, when we were buddy reading this, were thinking about it for months to come. Months. And definitely, I need to reread this one. It's incredible. I, yeah. That was only his deb debut novel. Next is A Bright Enchanted Suffering, and this is two macabre stories. And I was lucky enough to be gifted this book by Eric himself uh, for a review. And oh my goodness, there's these two stories. And they're as well riveting. And you can picture yourself there. You can see it unfolding in front of your eyes. The first story is called um, You're Not Supposed to Be Here. And there is a couple um, who, uh, who a stranger comes up to them and says, you aren't supposed to be here. And things go from there. And the dilemma that goes on and all the things that goes through your mind, let alone the mind of the characters in this book, in these two tales, because they're both different stories, but have a similar thought process and what makes you think, because it's all in regards to their children. It is all regards to what would you do if this happened? And this was definitely two of my favorite stories. Um, I, If I had to pick which one of these was my favorite out of the two, I would pick the first one, which is You 
aren't supposed to be here, but very good. Then there's the poetry that he's done. This man can do anything. He is incredibly talented. He makes the reader think, think outside of their comfort zone. He makes us look at things in a different way. And that to me is a great writer. Whether or not you like horror, you like poetry, anything that you are into, this is an author, an indie author that you must pick up. It's just still in my mind. It is still vivid. I remember Teddy. I remember her mother. I remember the town that they live in. I can remember what she was doing and how she got from her house to her neighbor's house. It's just a picture in my mind and it's not going to go away. And without saying anything, any spoilers or anything, anything that Teddy has to deal with, it's still here in my mind and I'm still thinking. And to me, a sign of a good book is that you remember it in vivid detail and you want to go back and reread it. And the author is an auto buy. And that's exactly what Eric LaRocca is. If you haven't read his works, you really need to. They are incredible and I can see big things coming from him in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to, please press the subscribe button and I will see you again the next time.